What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm making this video to show everybody who use Cool Edit Pro to how to edit your vocals to mix down and everything uh, to make it sound like studio quality for your song. It rather, even if you sing or either if you rap, yeah. So I just recorded this thing like ten minutes ago. I think I wrote it um, this morning, but. Um, yeah, I was, I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, edit it. So, um, this is the Salvador way, I guess it's called. But so you double click it, make sure you get the things before your vocals, and cut it. So you won't get the mouse clicks after you record and all that, because that's really annoying. If you have that, and you just hear it click. All right, so double click to highlight it. Then go to noise reduction, then click pop eliminate, elimin, eliminator. <laughs> then go to auto find all levels. This is probably the um the effect that takes the most time. It only takes about like a minute or so. So it's finding all the clicks and pops in your um in your recording session. Okay, after that's done, after it found all the auto find all levels, um, press OK. And like I said, this one might take the longest. I might fast forward it so y'all don't have to sit there watching, watching on YouTube why it's taking so long. So, yeah. Okay, now that's now that is done. Go back to effects, amplify, hard limiting. Okay, your settings for here should be minus 6.5 decibels. Next box is 6. The next one is 7 and the next one is 100. Then you just press okay. This I think it levels out your vocals so there won't be any peaks in it going above the line. So, go back to effects amplitude and dynamic processing and you need to save a preset for this so traditional click on traditional and the first box should be compressed then this box should be 1.5 um, and then this box sh the tr threshold or whatever it's called is minus 40.7 decibels then the second box is expand then 1.1 then go to attack and release tab and the output gain is 6, the act attack time is 1, the next one release time is 500 ms, the input gain is 0, the attack time is 0.5, the release time is 300 ms, and this little box that's dotted is RMS, not the peak one, RMS, and the look ahead time is 3 ms. Then go to band limiting then the low cutoff should be 0 and the high cutoff should be 2400 and to save this preset just go to add and then just put in studio quality or whatever you want to call it professional and press ok but mine's already set to professional so just click on your preset And after this um, dynamic processing, you go to um, delay effects, reverb, then you need to set a preset here too. The total reverb length is 1000, the attack time is 60 ms, the high frequency absorption time is 2500, the smooth perception echoey is 75, and the original signal dry it's 100% and the reverb wet is 2% and to add this present you know just add and then put in studio quality or whatever you want to call it and press ok then press ok on here again
the next step is going to be going to um, effects again you're always going to go to effects um, filters graphic equalizer and click 10 bands 1 octave or active whatever it's called then you can go to spit clear to it acts like a pop filter like when you and all that I already have one but um, you you can go down to this band box here and click 2000 or you can just go to this number two right here the number two and click two and the gain should be zero decibels the accuracy should be 1600 points and the range should be 36 decibels and the master gain should be zero decibels then you just click OK and the next step is the last step for the effects list for editing the thing um your vocals okay now that's done go back to amplitude and then normalize then normalize to 70 percent unchecked decibel formats and DC bias adjust click OK then after that you you can amplify your vocals or go to amplitude to amplify if you need to okay we need to go back and pretty much it's already mixed for it's already edited but I add an extra step I right click the track then go to loop duplicate then put duplicate block one time no gaps or anything press OK then I drag the track under it to make it amplified sometimes but it makes it better studio makes it a better quality for your um vocals for your song well that's it um for the tutorial subscribe add a comment if you have any questions message me if you have any questions um Check out my music at www.myspace.com slash I-I-N-F-A-M-O-U-Z-F-L-I-P-S-E-T. Infamous Flipset. And, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop by anything. But, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm out.